We are on the way to the Hewan and Tasman Fracture Marine Parks, south of Tasmania. We're here to study deep sea coral communities living on an unusually large group of underwater mountains known as seamounts. Laying eyes on the hidden world of deep sea corals is a challenging endeavour. The high-tech camera kit we're using on this seamount survey is the eighth version designed and built by CSIRO over the last 20 years. For Survey Chief Scientist Alan Williams from CSIRO, these cameras are his eyes on the seafloor. This will be the third visit to this area. It was surveyed first in the late 90s and again a decade later in 2006. The surveys themselves are quite complicated. Each camera transect runs down a seamount from its peak to its base. We need careful navigation and we need very careful piloting of the camera platform as it moves through the water. The vessel is towing the camera down the continental margin adjacent to the seamounts area. This map here, the underlay shows the seabed topography. The two um, symbols you can see here, the first one is the ship and the second one behind it is the tow camera with a beacon on it that transmits the position of the camera back to the ship. Imagine having the job of flying the deep tow camera at the end of thousands of metres of cable, just two metres above the sea floor. This is the latest generation of the CSIRO Ocean and Atmospheres towed camera platform. Carl Forsey and Jeff Cordell of CSIRO are two of the pilots on this survey. They absolutely love their work, including its many challenges. With the latest cameras, we're able to control them via Ethernet from the surface. We're able to mount them in specially CNC machined housings to take 3D stereo imagery of the seafloor. And of course, cameras are a lot higher resolution these days. There's much better light sensitivity. So we're able to take advantage of all those features in our cameras and get the absolute best quality photos up on the surface in real time. When we're looking at new discoveries, species that have never been seen before by anyone, and you're controlling that with a joystick. It's a really good feeling. 10 years ago, a remote controlled deep diving vehicle from the United States placed nine granite settlement plates at the base of Sister Seamount in the Huon Marine Park. The settlement plates provide precise locations for scientists to monitor new coral growth. But finding them again in 1,000 metres of water requires the utmost teamwork, dexterity and patience. A drop camera deployed beneath the ship relays the view of the remote sea floor back to Alan and the camera pilot in the operations room. While the pilot can move the camera up and down, the only way to search side to side is to move the entire ship. Guided by the camera and a map of the sea floor, Alan communicates with the skipper on the bridge, who makes tiny adjustments using the ship's dynamic positioning system. James, could you take us four metres east, please? <laughs> Yep. Thank you. After many hours of manoeuvring, the settlement plates are spotted and the camera is coaxed close enough to take a clear image. Well, we found them. This time, the settlement plates show no sign of new coral growth confirming the suspicion that these deep sea reefs will take a very long time to recover from damage. That's a good enough look to uh, I think conclude there's nothing on it. Seeing the images coming up from the sea floor 1,000 metres below us is quite extraordinary. All of the information and data that's acquired through these voyages, it's made freely available to researchers all over the country and all over the world to help make decisions about future management of these places and places like them around the world. These deep sea cameras show us how deep sea coral communities change predictably with depth and the kind of substrate available for them to attach to. The camera allows us to view the animals remotely, but for a better understanding, we need to take a closer look.